dear children next we can study about the human heart the heart is made of special muscle called cardiac muscle and it is not solid muscle the heart is hollow inside the pumping organ is heart it is located between the lungs in the thoracic cavity heart is covered with a fluid filled sac called pericardium it is a muscular organ which is as big as our fist now the structure of the heart heart is provided with the four chambers this is the right atrium right ventricle left atrium left ventricle okay the heart has four chambers the upper two chambers that is atria and lower two chambers called ventricles the top side of left atrium is connected to pulmonary vein which brings oxygenated blood into it from the lungs the term pulmonary refers to lungs the lower side of left atrium is connected to left ventricle oxygenated blood from left atrium goes into left ventricle and the left ventricle is connected to main artery called aorta the left ventricle pumps oxygenated blood into the main artery for taking it to all the body organs except lungs the top of right atrium is connected to main vein that is vena cava which brings deoxygenated blood into right atrium from all the body organs the lower side of right atrium is connected to right ventricle deoxygenated blood from the right atrium goes into right ventricle the right ventricle is connected to pulmonary artery the right ventricle pumps deoxygenated blood into pulmonary artery for taking it into lungs the left side of the heart is completely separated from its right side by means of a partition wall called a septum which is made of a thick muscle the septum in the heart prevents the mixing of oxygenated blood on its left side with the deoxygenated blood on its right side all the atria and ventricles of the heart contract and relax at appropriate times and make the heart behave like a pump the heart is not a single pump actually the heart is a double pump the left side of the heart and right side of the heart act as two separate pumps that is the left side of the heart act as one pump which pumps oxygenated blood into the whole body and right side of the heart act as another pump which pumps deoxygenated blood only to the lungs it is necessary to keep the oxygen rich blood separate from deoxygenated blood so that it may supply good amount of oxygen to the body cells for respiration and release of energy if the oxygen rich blood mixes with the carbon dioxide rich blood that is deoxygenated blood then the body cells will not be able to get enough oxygen for respiration and due to which less energy will be released in the body now see the circulation from the right ventricle arising pulmonary artery which supply blood to the 
capillaries which present in the lungs and it receives oxygen and that oxygenated blood return to left atrium through the pulmonary veins and this circulation is called pulmonary circulation starting from right ventricle and it ends in the left atrium is called pulmonary circulation and the blood vessel arising from the left ventricle that is aorta and the branches of aorta supply blood to all parts of the body and through the vena cava it enters into right atrium and that circulation is called a systemic circulation listen children the separation of the right side and left side of the heart is useful to keep oxygenated and deoxygenated blood from mixing such separation allows a highly efficient supply of oxygen to the body this is useful in animals that have high energy needs such as birds and mammals which constantly use energy to maintain their body temperature the circulation process is repeated continuously all day and all night even when we are asleep the blood keeps on circulating in the body without stopping due to which all the parts of the body keep on getting digested food oxygen and other materials all the time at the same time blood circulation keeps on removing waste products like a carbon dioxide formed in the body cells okay blood before reaching to our finger tip it enters into the heart twice and it happens in other vertebrates also and this is known as double circulation fishes on the other hand have only two chambers that is one auricle and one ventricle and the blood is pumped to the gills is oxygenated there and passes directly to the rest of the body thus blood goes only once through the heart in the fish during one cycle of passage through the body it is called single circulation the circulation of blood was discovered by an english physician named william harvey what do you know about blood donation see children hundreds of people die due to unavailability of blood voluntary blood donation is harmless and painless and can save precious life blood can be donated at hospitals and other places authorized by the government donated blood are stored with a special care in blood banks okay thank you